<laughs> I really like this movie. Oh. Hello. It's me, Kofi, and welcome back to another movie commentary. Today we're doing the animated movie Klaus on Netflix. I've been meaning to watch this one for a while now, but I said, let me just wait till the holiday season is a little bit colder, a little more festive. It's probably the only holiday movie I'll be able to watch, at least for the channel, during the holiday season. But that's okay. I chose a good one because it's rated 94% on Rotten Tomatoes right now, so I'm expecting good things. I feel like it's gonna be good. It was recommended to me around the time I watched The Willoughbys and some other animated movies, and you guys have really, really enjoyed this one. So I'm excited to watch it for the first time and see what it's about. Obviously, it's about Santa Claus <laughs> and elves and holiday Christmas stuff, but you know, I'm excited to see you know what the story is exactly. But let's go ahead and just jump right into this movie commentary of Klaus. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram so you can see holiday pictures like this one of my festive little stocking that my friend made me. <laughs> Kofi Klaus, yes, yes, Kofi Klaus. But anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and get started with this movie commentary of Klaus, and then the extended commentary will always be available on Patreon. Let's go. This is a story about letters, and it began with this one. Okay, so why is this letter special? Who is it from? Who is it going to? Oh, look at this. A whole Academy for Postman. Wow. You are now a postman. <gasps> Come again? You are to establish a working postal office <laughs> in the in... North Pole. Ooh, it's getting real cold. Smirensburg. Where? You've got one year. Smirensburg is also known Where? as the North Pole. Smirensburg, what is, what's happening right now? Dad! 6,000 letters will suffice. If you fail to get those letters, you're cut off. It's your son, Jesper. Little mm -hmm. Jespy. Remember, I said, Daddy, can I help <laughs> you mail the letters? Can I help you put the medals in the letters? Oh. Put them in a the stamp with the puck? Oh. Do you know how long it took to press this uniform? Jesper got it better get to work. That little <laughs> baby impersonation almost got me, but nope. Time to get to work, Jesper. Isn't that a bit excessive? No. He's got to learn that the hard way. a wake-up call, Sergeant. And who knows? Someday he might even thank me for it. He's trying to teach his son a lesson, try to better his son. He's communicated with him. He's given him many chances. And now he's doing what he thinks is best for him. You know, I like the staff. I hope Jesper doesn't turn into Claus. Like, Jesper doesn't turn into Santa Claus or something. And this is like Santa Claus's like origin story as a child. I don't know. <laughs> this is a crazy prediction I'm throwing out there. Oh. What evil children. <laughs> oh. This is depressing. Oh. Oh yeah, wait a minute, Mr. Postman. <laughs> Why did he set him up like that? Finally throwing in the town. Throwing in the town. Okay, so this is like two That's sets of the town that are fighting. You weaseled out and rang the bell. Huh? What have you got there, children? Children. Pumpkin, show daddy what you found. Okay, these children are very well fed. What? <laughs> this is no way to treat a person. Certainly. Not Aww. this person. Just, one second, let me just... A postman? Pfft. Give me a break. When will they learn? You, holy Bye. moly. That's you? Aww. What happened? <laughs> what happened was... Why would he say that? I took a teaching job. Jasper is a mess. Where people don't send their kids to school. Ow. What the... Mail that postman! Oh, Wait a the minute. children in these towns are the worst. You oh, yeah? Well, if I'm a loser, then you're... You're a... You're a... Uh, you're, too, you're too far. You're gone. <laughs> I hope the Miss Alva slash the fish lady is able to reform these kids and turn them into like something better than whatever they are right now. So that means none of the children are going to school. No wonder they're so juvenile. <laughs> he needs some character growth. I'm glad his dad sent him here. He's going to turn this town around. I'm just waiting for Santa Claus to come into the picture. Unless he is Santa Claus. <laughs> I'm not letting go of that theory. Not now, kid. Can't you see I'm busy trying to figure out how to get let Get the kids. You want your drawing, don't you? Um, if you don't, I'm gonna keep it. 
I love it. <laughs> I would keep it if I was you. Not I Jasper trying to swindle this little kid. Oh this Lord! Nice man says he can mail my drawing back That's to not, me. He's lying. Can you give him a children penny? Children are liars. Uh -huh. Oh, look at that. <laughs> not oh, children are liars. You're not the. He's trying to swindle liars. this little I'll boy. I'll see you later. Thank you so much. And then no need to look at any time. Bye. Uh, uh, that must be the express mail. But it seems like the kids are going to be part of the plan to get Marinsburg on the board when it comes to mail. Is this a bad time? I, I can see you're pretty small. Oh, this fairy man. Is the fairy man Santa Claus Don't in disguise? Someone is Santa Claus in this damn movie. Job or something? Why, sure I do. What's that? What? Oh, the woodsman's cabin? Yeah. Does someone live there? Why, well, sure. Toys. Okay. Here is Santa. Oh, Santa. Ah, here we go. <laughs> Okay, this is Santa Claus. Ooh. Oh, is, that, is this one of those things where like you run away from the imposing scary person, but then they turn out to actually be friendly and just wanted to talk? Like you know what I mean? Like he didn't even give he didn't even give he didn't even like speak to him. He didn't give him a chance or anything. He just saw someone with the axe big in the shadows and like ran away. But probably a nice guy. Or not. Okay, so my earlier prediction was wrong about Jasper or the ferryman being Santa Claus. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. I wonder if was that the kid's letter from earlier? And now Santa's gonna get it. Oh, I think that was a kid's letter from earlier. And maybe it was something about a gift that he wanted. So now Claus is gonna see it. Get the kid a gift, and the tradition is off. Let's see. Yep, okay. Aww. Where's this? What? I don't know. How would I know? Look, Wait. he didn't even look at it. <laughs> I do know. Keep going down this road and you're and coming with you me. can't miss it. it or Let's I go. can show you. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Let me just show you. Look, I'm trapped. Ah, Damn right claws. So quiet for a disproportionate. <laughs> no, really. I mean strapping. Claws is kind of I don't know. Something about claws. Mm -hmm. oh, no. Do your job. You see, when he was at the Postman Academy, if he was actually doing what he was supposed to be doing, because they were doing sit-ups, they were doing exercise, he would be adept to handle the situation. But he was chilling. <laughs> Do you get it now, Jasper? Do you get what we're doing here? Because Claus and I, we get it. We get what the mission is, but Jasper needs a little bit of time. <laughs> Jasper is just a freaking dodo. He's just, uh oh. He's gone. Give him a little snaggle tooth. Okay, because if he starts telling all the kids, I just drew this. I drew a picture and I sent it to, I gave it to the postman, and the next day I had a toy. Then this town is going to be on and popping with gifts for the kids and stuff. We'd like to send these letters. I knew it! I want a toy too. Our cousin told us if we Come write on, a cousin. to Mr. Klaus, the cousin is a plug. Toy. <laughs> he also said to bring you a penny each. Yes. It's not a letter if it doesn't have postage. Right? Yes. We're in business. You want a toy? <laughs> okay. You didn't have to go about it this way. He could have just told the children to spread the word. Uh, like a brand new now he's like a drug dealer for toys. Write a letter, <laughs> Mr. Klaus. I wonder if Klaus is going to be mad at him for charging the kids a penny for the toys. Because obviously we know why Klaus is doing it, but it seems like he's kind of like taking advantage of the kids by doing it this way. But uh, Does anyone else think this iteration of Klaus is handsome? Or, you know, something about him. <laughs> I don't know if it's the build or the beard or what, or the mystery, the quiet nature. <laughs> okay, so far he's the only one that has a gift. It's okay, though. More gifts to come. Uh, watch the parents start ruining it. Oh, no. It's, oh. Girl, give me my toy. Oh, they're playing with it together. Okay, okay. Oh, children are so innocent. Let's see. We could be ruining it because I'm a bitter old curmudgeon adult. 
<laughs> Yay, put the toy together. Yay. Oh, they're from two different um, opposing sides of town. Uh -oh. But you see, the toy brought them together. Don't you know that crumbs and Elling bows don't mix? But why? Why? What? See what I mean? Why? I don't, I don't know what to do. Okay, I like the I like the lessons this story is trying to tell. It's Cause like kids are just kids. Just let them play with whoever they want. Let them like whoever they want. But adults in society put these notions into their head about who they should like and who they shouldn't and who they should hate and. Mm, okay, all right. Klaus is giving us a, uh, giving us a lesson. I love animated movies like this that, like, you know, are tailored towards a more kid audience, but they put lessons into it that are like important for everyone. You know, like the Willoughby's had, and Meet the Robinsons. All these movies, they're just great. That's all he's got so far. Oof. <laughs> You somehow have to expand to the next town over or something. But we don't know how to write. Hmm. Tough luck. Man. Oh my gosh, Jasper! Like, you know what you could do? Why is he so? Uh, I mean, oh, go to school and learn. Ah, oh, okay. So I like how everything's connecting. But I still need Jasper to like Jasper is still. What are you doing? Ah! Children to go he to hasn't changed to much since the start of what the movie. What is wrong with you? Yeah, yes, what, what, what I meant to do. Listen to me, Postman. Whatever you're doing, leave me out of it. I have been running away here for five years, and I am so close to getting out, I am not about to let you mess it all up. Okay, let's make a deal. If I teach you something, will you get out of here, please? Mm-hmm. That sucks that, like, some of the kids can write the letters because they know how to, and others don't, like... Have any education, so they're just like out of luck. Oh, but at least they're trying to learn the importance of education or a good there education you go. at least. Really? That's my name? Yes. Wow. Really, it's your name. Wow. Wow. Can you teach me more? Please. Me next. I want to write my name. Me too. I want to write my name. Me. The idea of not being able to even write your name. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy that like it's, they can't do that. Is she going to use that money to buy supplies for the kids, like notebooks and stuff? You know, teachers have to do that all too often, unfortunately. Take a little bit of money out of their own personal stuff to, you know, buy notebooks and pencils and stuff. Oh, this movie is just, it's covering so many different things. I just love it. Ah. Go home, you loser. Mm -mm, he's not getting nothing. Take the gift back. <laughs> Who's a loser now, you little oh, brat? Oh, okay, and Jesper. Adding his own little I touch to the of, lore. I mean, Miss Klaus, and he makes the best toys. Klaus, Klaus, Klaus. Awesome. Toys are the best. Oh, I didn't have to. He knows. He knows. Ooh. <gasps> he knows you when you think bad or good. He sees everything. When you know. you're sleeping. <laughs> Every mischief, prank, and dirty deed. He keeps a list. Mm. The... Naughty list. Naughty list. Ah, Jasper is really oh, building out this lore me. in this town. You do not want to the impact this. one person can have on history, oh. life. <laughs> you still want to throw that snowball? Mm -hmm. I didn't think so. Period! <laughs> yeah. Come on, Jasper. Don't mess with the postman. He's spelled his oats now. Only good children get toys? Yep. <gasps> I'll better start behaving. Dear Mr. Klaus, I shoveled all the yards in my street today. That's good, right? Hi! Please don't yeah! forget <laughs> The children are all right. <laughs> of course, you know what's going to happen. He's going to reach a 6,000 letter goal and then try to leave the town. And it's gonna be like, oh, he never really changed. But then he's gonna come around and then end up staying in the town and yada yada. But I think we're gonna have that character moment for, you know, Jasper. Can this old raggedy curmudgeon. Time we send that postman 
a message. Like, why do you like, why do you hate progress? You know why do you hate people oh, yeah. liking and loving each other and being kind to each other? Like, ah, uh, these old raggedy curmudgeons. Don't forget about the yeah, So y'all rather come together and have too. a truce so we must to destroy the happiness peace? and uh, peace. Stop this peace? Our right. Ancestors well, it's, it's not clicking. So is there any magic to this iteration of Klaus or Santa Claus? Or is it all just misconceptions and <laughs> oh he's almost out of toys what happens once he runs out of toys hello pasta my oh good you're back where is she, is she an elf yes, very nice but whatever it is you're saying no. i've got my own problems she seems you know? more like a child i mean we are out of toys and without toys there are no letters and without letters ah, is she okay. a magical elf can you please get off my porch? You're trespassing. Oh, why is Jasper so nasty? She, I think she's an elf. I don't think she'll be a kid because then she wouldn't really be working in the factory, the Santa Claus's workshop. But she might be an elf. I don't know. Or she might be a kid from another town that heard about Klaus and is trying to get a gift. Mrs. Klaus? Did something happen to his wife? It's going to be a flashback. Yeah, why is he well, here? Well, welcome <laughs> to your new workshop. Ta-da! All Wait, shapes don't and touch sizes that. impeccably organized for you. No. His wife? Mm -hmm. Wife and children or just wife? What's this? Get out. Get out. Ooh. Class, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't get mean out. Ah. Ah. You don't cross the line with Mr. Klaus. Furl those eyebrows, Klaus. And it's like Jesper's not even doing this out of a place of like enjoyment of helping the kids and wanting kids to be happy and yada yada. He just wants his 6,000 deliveries to can get out of this town. So I can't even feel bad for Jasper. Because his motivations aren't pure of heart. Man, we don't understand you. Bad night. Is that why her ears are covered? Because she has elf ears Don't under there? The <laughs> I feel bad if she's actually a little girl, but I think she's an elf. <laughs> Marco. Okay, she's not an elf. <laughs> I don't think she's an elf. Ooh, I feel bad. Sorry, Marco. <laughs> okay, so the little girl did travel from another town to try to get a gift. Aw, woo woo woo. And here I was thinking she was an elf. <laughs> Marco. Oh, Marco, there's your gift. Marco. And then now it's going to spread to this town, and then everyone here is going to want a gift. And. Aww. So, how does she even hear about the tradition? Does she, does she have a friend in the main town in Smearsburg? <laughs> the friend in Smearsburg like called her up and was like, hey girl, like you need to get in on this thing that's been going on in my town. Come over and drop off your letter. <laughs> Someone might need help mailing letters. Yeah. These people are just so I, I, I mean, irrelevant and annoying. Just like have go we away. Never defeated you? We wanted children. Lots of them. Lots. Running around, laughing, <laughs> getting in trouble. What happened? While we waited, I started making toys for them, but they never came. Oh. And then... She got sick. She got sick. <sighs> Tale is all this time, unfortunately. The children never came. We know what that means. And I love that they're... Touching on it just a little bit. Hey, you know what? We're doing it. What? Doing what? The Christmas thing. <laughs> We're making all those toys. That's what she would have wanted. A full schoolhouse of children learning. Look, she redesigned the whole fish shop. Wow. And all the kids are mixed from the different towns. How, how did you pay for this? Hmm? Your savings? What? You see, and that's what pisses me off because... 
she took all her money from her savings that she earned to and put it into, you know, buying the kids' school supplies, redecorating the fish shop into a school, yada, yada, yada. Meanwhile, the townspeople, the leaders of the town are over here plotting on how to ruin everything and not like, you know what I mean? Like, why don't you put your time and energy into investing in resources that are important, like your children, instead of trying to plot how to be divisive and messy? Mm, 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 mm. This movie has so many important themes. I love it. What about starting far, far away from here? Oh, wow, you have no idea what you've done, do you? Wow. Look at this. You did this, Jasper. Y'all better sing. I'm, I'm like, I have the biggest smile on my face right now. This is so beautiful. Oh, he really, he did this. Not quite the same place, is it? No, it's not. Oh. Not nah, her bringing her whole family. <laughs> are they help? Are they here to help make the toys? Okay, so they are the elves. Okay, not elves, but you know what I mean. They're here to help. True act of goodwill, huh? Always sparks another. Never fails. Ah, okay. So they're not elves, but these are the people that are going to start helping Santa make the toys. And <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Never wanting anything more. Oh, a little cozy time by the fire. Love that for you, Jesper and Miss Alba. Oh, he was unbelievable. Encouraging children to write letters and go to school. Ah, uh, it all comes out. To donate their labor to such a worthy cause. No, it's not true. Well, well it is true, but. Me. Perhaps a minute to say your goodbye. It was more than that. Okay, now they're turning the dad into like a villain. I don't like that. Please? No, no. Hmm. Well, yeah, at first, maybe, at first yes, but things but change. Alva, no. Please come, Alva, please come back. If I if I didn't get the letters, I'd, I'd be cut off. But well, things changed. Okay, Miguel, Jasper! Oh, Jasper! I hate when kids cry out for someone. <laughs> There's still time. You haven't gotten on board the ferry yet. Come on. Look at what you're leaving behind. Like, just turn around and look. Well, now, finally leaving, aren't we? <laughs> I. Oh. Come on, father. You see, your son is not happy about this. Be a good dad in this moment. Jasper's not going to be on this ship. Jasper's not going to be on this ship. The dad's leaving without him. I have faith. I have faith. I have faith. So much for faith. So much for faith. I really thought he wasn't going to be on that ship. Cheer up, little <gasps> one. Oh, yay! I think I may have missed my boat. Yay! Oh, gosh. Oh, it's my last. Yes, <laughs> yes never give up faith. Keep on believing. He'd never been more proud of me. Yes. And he hugged me. Yes. Can you believe that? I can't. I'd be mad. No. Nope. I told you, this is a good dad. I could tell the dad was good from the start. I'll miss it. The clans. Klaus. Jasper, let go. No. It's not worth it. It is. Ooh. Come on, Jasper. Of no, 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 fri frickin' no. worse. Carl, I wanna throw you off that cliff. Let's go. The math is We're not mathing. Well said. Wait, but I guess some people do really just wanna watch the world burn, right? Tomorrow. What's this? <laughs> they had more? They had more gifts? Presence in the oh, that was a decoy? Give me a little credit. I wasn't gonna let them have the toys. But, but how did you know that the kids talk, you know? And if kids happen to be talking about their parents plotting to form an angry <laughs> mob, then, you know, teachers listen. Yes, kids. Okay, so they already knew that they were coming in. They would destroy the decoys and leave. But then you showed up and made it complicated, as usual. So all this was for nothing. Damn it, Jasper. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't say that. All right. He was willing to go down with that, go over the cliff to save those decoy Show toys. Him. That's the kind of guy Jasper is. I love this movie! <laughs> oh, 
I really like this movie. Ah. No, Klaus is getting what older. Is on your face? What, you don't like it? Ah. They're both getting older. No, I forgot people age and die. No, I don't want that. No. No. And then, on the twelfth year. No. Don't make me sad. He's supposed to be magical. He's supposed to be magical. Come on, come on. No, he's supposed to he's supposed to live on forever. No, Klaus. It's not time. I'm coming, love. No. Don't go. It's for the best, I guess. I guess. Oh, join Lydia. Oh, this is a beautiful shot. That was a beautiful image right there. And just like that. I asked everyone, but we just couldn't find them. No goodbye. Oh, that's the girl, Margot, no from when she was a kid. Now she's Nothing. all grown. It was as if he had just disappeared. What I do know is that once a year. I get to see my friend. Hmm. Wait! 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 Klaus, wait! Ah, I, I have questions. Wait. Damn it! Go back. Uh. Uh huh. Okay. What I do know is that once a year. I get to see my friend. Wow. Okay, I don't know how to feel. I feel like I don't know. <laughs> okay, so maybe Klaus didn't die. He maybe ascended to a higher being. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm sure he went to be reunited with Lydia, but I think he kind of like he became something bigger, you know? He, like, he went to the North Pole and he, and he, you know, became the Santa Claus we all now know him to be. And, like, he turned into that magical being, like, this was all before he turned into Santa, uh, Santa Claus. And then he joined Lydia and then became something bigger. And he left Jasper, but he gets to see him once a year. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> no, oh my gosh, why is this movie making me feel like this? Uh. I don't think, I think this was the perfect holiday movie for me to watch. Like if this is the only one I get to watch this holiday season, I'm glad it was this one. I loved this movie. I really did. No, usually like once a year, every holiday season, I like to watch the Polar Express. That's been like my favorite childhood movie to watch, but I think this one might be up there. I think I might have to start watching this one every year. Oh my gosh. Ooh, with Marco. I'm sorry I called you Elf Margo. <laughs> Margo, the girl from the town over, and her whole family that came to help. To the children in this town that started off all rotten and then became better. To Jasper's dad, who sent him out on a mission to better himself and check his privilege. <laughs> and then to Jasper himself, to Alpha, who started off as a fisher lady looking for a way out, but then embraced being a school teacher and, you know, used her own money and resources to put into her kids, a story that we know all too well to be true. To the stinky townspeople, who are well, the stinky leaders of the town that, you know, are just still stinky by the end. To Jasper, to Jasper. I really was worried that he wouldn't, like, you know, turn around by the end, but he did. He did. And he, he did. He did. And then, of course, Klaus. Klaus. He was, Klaus was little, you know. <laughs> I already said it once, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this movie commentary of Klaus with me. Thank you for recommending it. It really was. I really, really, really enjoyed watching it. And I wore a little bit of, you know, blue and red to, you know, commiserate. Is that the word? To celebrate the holiday season. Tis the season, right? <laughs> but I'll be back very, very soon. The extended movie commentary, of course, will be available on Patreon. Don't forget to check me out on Twitter and Instagram and the Discord. Happy holidays to you and yours. Stay safe. Say well, be merry, be cheery, <laughs> and bye. Have yourself a merry little Christmas if you celebrate. <laughs> Have yourself a merry little Christmas now.
and a happy new year. Bye. <laughs>